Time now for your forewarned weather with Cannon Seacrest. All right, Cannon's down there in St. George where it is hot. You were talking about the temperatures earlier. I recommend ice cold showers tonight before you go to bed because, I mean, you're going to be sweating anyway. With 100 degrees temperatures at this late at night, Cannon, that's insane. <laughs> that's a good idea. You need to stay cool and stay in the air conditioning. Uh, luckily, our studio here is air conditioned. Uh, taking a look at this black desert sky cam, we're seeing the night vision right now. We see that red mountain out there in the background just kind of outlining. It was a very nice day earlier this morning out on the golf course and then later on in the day it got pretty hot. Utah Lake also very hot spot earlier today. We had tons of people out on the lake enjoying their day with those warm temperatures up there in the northern portion of the state. The high temperatures since midnight, 91 up in Logan, 95 in Salt Lake, 91 through uh, Provo, Delta, and Price as well. Milford 80, 94 in Cedar City, and then 109 down here in St. George. Very, very warm, and those heat alerts coming in hot. Excessive heat warnings through St. George and Lake Powell areas. Those are going to be highs of around 111 to 114 within the next couple of days, Sunday on into Wednesday. Those lows are gonna be in those upper to mid 70s. So it's gonna stay very warm. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Stay in the AC like I talked about. Stay in the studio if you have one. Satellite radar showing up here. We don't have a lot going on in regards to precipitation down here in the state right now. Uh, just some of those northwesterly winds kind of pushing everything across the state, but for the most part, staying very dry. Temperatures right now show 73 up in Logan, 81 in Salt Lake City, 74 in Provo, 77 in Delta, as well as Cedar City. 100 degrees still here in St. George as we get closer to 1030 and then Lake Powell about 95. The Metro cast here in St. George, 92 come 11 o'clock. You can expect that with those clear skies sticking around. Around 4 a.m., still gonna be in those 80s. Clear skies though, sticking around. And then at 9 a.m., we will drop down a little bit lower to about upper 70s, but we'll get back up to about 84 degrees for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Some fire alerts also want to pay attention to as we have some red flag warnings as well as some fire weather watches coming through with those northwesterly winds coming in about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those gusts can get up to 35, and if something sparks, things can get pretty devastating in regards to fire. The future cast, we're not looking at a whole lot right now. Uh, as we move further into Sunday, things stay pretty clear. We do see some pop-up showers near Manila and Vernal that may be hitting up there, but for the most part, gonna be staying out of the state of Utah. Into Monday, things still stay pretty clear through Utah and uh, should be a very nice next couple of days. Tonight's forecast shows about 54 degrees up in Logan, 66 in Salt Lake, 62 in Provo, 57 in Delta, 63 in Cedar City, and then St. George, 73. For tomorrow, on the other hand, things are going to start to really heat up as we see 111 in St. George, 99 in Lake Powell, 99 in Moab, 88 in Price and Vernal, 89 in Salt Lake City, and then 88 degrees up there in Logan. The Wasatch Front taking a look at the full week forecast. I hope you enjoyed those 80s because we're getting right back up into those triple digits come the middle half of next week going to be 103 there on thursday and friday and then in st george temperatures are have been in those triple digits and we'll stay in those 115 expected there on thursday so really really warm down here in southern utah guys